This is CBS News Bay Area with Juliet Goodrich. Thanks for joining us. It is a crackdown in one East Bay City that certainly got our attention, so we wanted to check it out for you. Police in San Pablo, they're telling people it's time to get their cars out of their front yards. They're actually going to start ticketing people who are parking right off their driveways, like right here. I'm sure this person lives in this house right here. So the city's goal is to clean up the streets, but neighbors tell KPIX 5's Katie Nielsen it's more complicated than that. This is the $100 parking ticket Ernesta Chan got last month from the city of San Pablo for parking her car in her front yard. Because I usually bring my car in because there's no parking at all. Ernesta lives in this 800 square foot, two bedroom, one bath house in San Pablo with her husband and their three kids, her brother and her parents. That's five adults and each one has a car. She says in this neighborhood, there simply isn't enough street parking for everyone. It's really hard to park and just, they're just giving us tickets. The San Pablo Police Department has announced increased enforcement of the parking ordinances. The ordinances themselves are not new, but police say they've had an increase in complaints from residents about blight. Issues like multiple cars being parked in front or side yards, as well as cars and car parts blocking sidewalks, plus reports of old cars basically abandoned in front of houses. Some residents say for the city to keep growing, the streets have to get cleaned up. San Pablo is looking good, but that, those, those type of situations, it makes the city bad. But others say it's not fair for the city to first create a parking issue, then punish residents for parking where they can. Oh, we got a parking ticket for two cars being parked on the on our rocks and our pri private property. Christina says the city made the streets in her neighborhood too narrow. So some people park on the sidewalks, but she chose to park in her front yard. That was until she got a ticket. I am very frustrated. So is my husband. So we're like figuring out what the heck to do with the, where we park our cars now. San Pablo police said their main goal is to educate people about the ordinance and where they can and can't park their cars. But if the cars aren't moved by December 1st, then the officers are going to start writing those $100 tickets. In San Pablo, Katie Nielsen, KPIX 5.